What's going on everybody? It's Childish, you're back at it again, coming at you with another video for Cooking Run Kingdom. In today's video, I wanna get you guys all caught up with regards to the November upteenth, upteenth, uh, 18th update that they recently dropped here, talking about some of the new changes that, be, that are gonna be coming in in less than 24 hours here. So uh, if you guys haven't had a chance to check it out, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at it right here. But if you have already, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about this update and are you actually excited as I am for this newest unit here. So the first thing that we got going on is the season two of Super Mayhem. Apparently the season we just did was season one. I didn't realize how many times it was out, but that's the first season and it looks like they're bringing it back, which is obviously a very good thing here, right? So uh, the new thing that they got going on in this one here is now there's gonna be a couple of uh, new elementals here. We got a snow elemental golem and then we just got the young snow elementals here. So the young snow elemental that will be assisting us here will be attacking enemies with the highest defense, doing damage based on their uh, target's max HP and also increasing our attack speed uh, every fourth attacker, which is really, really nice. And then the second one that we're gonna be able to utilize in team three uh, is the Snow Elemental Golems. Now these ones will do area damage around the enemy with the highest attack, will do damage also targets uh, based on the target's max HP and will also be able to use a skill to perform their attack, stunning the target for one second. So what I like about this new change, right? These new Snow Elementals, they're gonna add an additional element to this, but also, this is going to impact the type of teams you use on one and two, as well as number three, right? Because obviously, um, if you're looking at this unit, if you're looking at this particular unit, it's going to be doing damage um, to a specific one that has a high defense. You might, you know, change up your composition uh, to make them focus on a unit that you don't want them, right? You, of course, you know, devs just want to throw in the kingdom pass if you haven't gotten that already. I personally haven't got it because I'm trying to back, you know, minimize the amount of spending I do. But if there was ever a reason to spend, maybe it might be for this new unit here, legendary unit the frost queen cookie so the skill ability that we're going to be taking a look at here freezing squall uh it's going to be doing it it looks like it was this aoe damage yeah aoe damage and freezing the opponent here um once frozen the target's cooldown will be paused and will receive an additional portion of damage uh when thought here now if the freeze debuff is dispelled they won't receive the additional damage which is okay because honestly i just i just like the fact that this, uh, this unit is going to be providing um, freezing aspects. So for those of you guys that don't know me from the Summoner's War family, um, I am, I'm very, very big into crowd control. I'm very, very big into CC. Like that is a big thing for me. So when I see some kind of unit that provides not only AOE, but AOE freeze, I'm like, oh man, that's actually pretty exciting though. Um, but of course it is going to be a legendary. So it's going to be kind of hard to get. Um, that being said though, one of the units that I'm sure all of us are going to be able to get here, Cotton Cookie. So Cotton Cookie, is going to be a unit that's going to provide another support. So uh, this is going to be kind of cool because, again, I've already had pumpkin pie. So I've seen the value of what a uh, summoning unit can bring to the table. I'm actually excited about this one here. So Cotton Cookie, uh, when it while the lightning shines, the warm light will pre periodically restore allies HP and increase the summon uh, creature's attack. Additionally, the summon sheep will charge at the enemies, dealing area damage or summoning. So we got a stunning element. We got a little mini uh, healing element. This is like a like a jack of all trades kind of unit here. Um, so I'm actually excited about this one because I have, I forget the name of it. Don't, don't, don't make fun of me too hard in the chat. Okay. But I got the uh, treasure that provides the 30% attack and the 10% summoning uh, duration uh, for uh, the summoned units. When I, so I'm actually pretty excited about that. Uh, new item time jumpers instantly clear battles. When you've already completed where you can see reward, which is good because if you're, uh, if you're just trying to, you know, clear your energy, get some, you know, get some, I don't know if you're trying to go for the, uh, the soul stones or whatnot, that might be, that might be quick to do. So you can just kind of clear that out. Um, uh, yeah, so it looks like some quality of life changes here. E easier topping management. Now we can create up to four sets of our favorite toppings and sort them by the set. Okay. Okay. This is, this is nice. Okay. They're taking a page out of Comptos' book here, trying to be a little organized. As you guys know, their rune management system is somewhere it's pretty darn OP. Uh, but I'm seeing what they're trying to do with this one here, which is good because uh, at the end of the day, we're going to be collecting a lot of a lot of toppings over the course of our time playing this game. So anything to manage it is going to be just that much more amazing here. So a couple of other changes, right? It'll be possible to use only up to three legendaries ancients, which is I guess is kind of cool. Um, I think uh, I think once we start getting so many ancients out there, it's just going to be an ancient legendary fest, and you know, there's not going to be really any diversity. So I'm hoping that. Um, everyone, you know, isn't is, is going to enjoy this recent change because I, I would like to see a little diversity in this one. Uh, I, I can tell you right now, I I was surprised at the amount of epics that I would be using initially. I thought I was going to be using a little bit more rare and common, but it's it's hard to deny the fact that the epics are just outrageously strong in quite a few aspects of the game here. So um, let's take a look here. 
Uh, Kingdom Arena trophies awarded to the victors will be increased by 40 to 60 percent of the tier. So this is good. I'm looking forward to that because more trophies, high rewards. Uh, I will definitely take that. So outside of that, we got some new decorative theme, uh, cozy snowfall version, which I'm sure if you guys saw the two minute video that the Death Sisters posted, um, it's really, really cool. They got the whole Christmas thing coming into place. So again, guys, that's pretty much it for the update. I'm sure you guys already heard about it, but I wanted to go ahead and uh, put a video on my channel just so you guys know what's going on. And again, uh, if you already heard about this and you know have an opinion about it, what do you think about Cotton Cookie? What do you think about the uh, new changes coming into play for uh, the uh, season two of the Super Mayhem? And of course, what do you think about the new legendary unit, the Frost Queen Cookie? Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, really forward to hear your feedback on that. And then to finish off the video, okay, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. I, I hate to do this and give you give you too much of a teaser here, but I've been working very very hard at clearing the content on both the story mode and the dark mode. And uh, let me tell you something. When it comes to clearing 8:30, uh, it's been quite the struggle. But uh, if I could finish off the video with just a little bit of a teaser, take a close look at this, so you guys can tell me uh, what you think about it. Okay. Take care, guys. What's the deal? Are we gonna make this? Creep, sitting here. They're they're all sitting here. What is going on? Oh my God, we. I think it's close. It's close, and the music is getting suspense. Oh, I'll do it. Do it right now. Three, two, one.